This tutorial will give you some tips on using the Presentation Editor. The Presentation Editor is a text file editor integrated into Presentation used to write the programs that control your presentation experiments. Because presentation scenarios are stored in simple text files, it is possible to use any general text editor to create and edit those files. However, the Presentation Editor has special features that make it the best place to write your presentation scenarios. The Editor submenu of the main menu contains commands that apply to the editor. Many of these actions have corresponding buttons on the Editor toolbar. If you hover the mouse over one of the buttons, a description of that button will appear. You will also see any shortcut key combinations that can also be used to perform that function. The All Files box contains links to control files used by the currently loaded experiment. This makes it easy to open those files by double-clicking on the name. You can control what files appear in this box from the Scenarios tab. It will always contain at least the scenario files for the experiment. However, you can also add any other text file you wish. The Recent Files box contains links to files that were recently opened in the editor. Double-click on a file name to open that file. Right-clicking on this box will display a context menu that you can use to clear the box or set the size limit. You can change the font size displayed in the editor by holding down the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel. In many ways, the presentation editor is just like any other text editor, with common features using the standard shortcut keys such as Control f for Find, F3 for Repeated Find, Control h for Replace, Control z for Undo, holding the Shift key down to make selections, using the Control key plus arrow keys to skip words, and others. If a file has been changed since the last saved version, you will see an asterisk displayed next to the file name on the Window tab. Any Unicode text may be used appropriately in scenario files. In order for general Unicode text to be stored and reloaded correctly, the text file encoding setting for the experiment must be UTF-8. The encoding setting is displayed in the editor and controlled from the General panel of the Settings tab. The editor will highlight the syntax of your scenario by changing the font properties and colors. Special keywords will appear in boldface, comment text in red, and string literals in blue. If you type what you think is a keyword and the editor does not display it in boldface, you may have misspelled the word or typed the wrong word. The editor will also temporarily color parentheses and brackets so you can easily locate matching opening brackets. When you begin to make a method call in PCL, the editor will display a list of the methods that can be called for that variable type. You can click on a particular method, use the up and down arrow keys, or keep typing. To use the current selected method from the list, press the Tab key. Under some conditions, syntax errors contained earlier in the file will cause this feature not to work. If you don't get a method list, this can indicate that there is some error earlier in the file. If the PCL portion of your scenario is in a separate file, this feature will only work for variables created in SDL if the scenario file has the same base file name as the PCL file. When you type the opening parentheses of a method call, the editor will display the signature of that method with types and names of the arguments. 
If there is more than one method with that name, you can switch the signature being displayed using the up and down arrow keys. The name for the argument you are currently typing will be colored. You can turn off these code completion features from the toolbar or the menu. The editor can analyze the syntax of your scenario without running it to detect any errors. To do this, click on the Analyze Toolbar button or press the F7 key. When you do this, the main scenario file must currently be displayed. If your scenario uses separate PCL files or template files, you must switch back to the main scenario file before analyzing. A box will appear at the bottom of the editor. The box will contain a list of any errors found in the scenario. Clicking on an error description will highlight the portion of the scenario that caused the error. You can show or hide the error list using Control e You may also run a scenario directly from the editor by clicking the green arrow or pressing the F5 key. The main scenario file must be on top when you run the scenario. A panel will appear at the top containing a terminal box, a display box, and a parameter box, identical to the ones that appear on the status window when you run the entire experiment. You can show or hide this panel using the toolbar button or pressing Control T. When you run or analyze a scenario in the editor, the content of any files used by the scenario that are open in the editor will be taken from the editor and not from disk. Therefore, it is not necessary to save changes before running the scenario. When using response devices, the response device settings may be different for each scenario in an experiment. If a scenario you run from the editor is used in the currently loaded experiment, then the response settings for that scenario will be used. If you run a scenario from the editor that is not in the current experiment, presentation will use the default response settings. Note that when you run a scenario from the editor, presentation will not produce a log file for that scenario.